Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I have kind of a little historical gem for you. <laughs> um, and this one comes with a backstory. This is my very first guitar. <laughs> and um, I got this when I was in seventh grade. And it was really the first instrument that I sort of taught myself to. Um, I had, I learned to play the flute in fifth grade because I was in band, but uh, this one, I dug it out of the closet along with some music books and I learned how to play Row Row Your Boat and <laughs> that really started the whole thing. Um, so let me tell you a little bit of the story behind this guitar. So the reason it was sitting in our closet when I was a kid, um, my grandpa, <laughs> a long, long time ago, bought it for my aunt. Um, who decided she didn't want to learn to play it and it sat around for forever until finally my aunt gave it to my mom. Um, and my mom used to play like Amazing Grace uh, when I was in the bath as a kid, which was really nice, but that's as much as she ever learned. <laughs> um, so later when I was older, I dug it out of the closet and uh, it's been mine ever since. <laughs> But the reason that I think this might be interesting to other people besides myself <laughs> is that this guitar is perhaps one of the first guitars that was branded with the Ibanez label, um, which is exciting. I've, you can probably tell that I'm not really a metal head, like a metal player, although I mean occasionally I listen to some metal music, but uh, it's not so much my thing. But Ibanez. That's my guitar brand, like, for life. <laughs> um, and they got me early with this, uh, with this guitar. So <laughs> it's really, really cool. I have looked back at Ibanez catalogs. The earliest is 1971. And um, that's the earliest one that I can find. Anyway, if you have earlier ones, please send them my way because I'm really interested in when this guitar was made. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is definitely earlier than 1971. Um, the 71 models already are at model numbers in the 600s and 700s. And this one is model number 61. <laughs> so I feel like um, it had to be made at some point in the 60s. Um, my aunt was born in 66. So who knows <laughs> when it was bought or uh, how old she was when she decided that she wanted to learn it. It's a family history lost in the mists of time. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you a few cool things about this guitar because um, it is still almost entirely vintage. I did have to replace one of these pegs um, when I first <laughs> took it out, which was Gosh, I don't even know, 20 years ago now, more than that. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, it is entirely in its original condition. So I want to show you some cool things about that. And the first thing that I wanted to show you about it is this little plaque. Um, ostensibly, it's a truss rod cover, but uh, I'm not sure that there's actually a truss rod in this guitar. It might just be a piece of steel in the neck. <laughs> um, but it says, steel reinforced neck, very official sounding. <laughs> I'm honestly afraid to take it off because the screws are so old, I don't want to strip them or uh, hurt it in any way. <laughs> um, and then on the back, you can see these tuners. Um, to be honest, they are not great tuners. Um, I probably could oil them and they'd be better, but they get stuck a lot and uh, the gear ratio is like really small. So turning it just a little bit, adjust the tuning a lot. But they're really pretty. Um, I like the intricate kind of engravings and the little liars at the top. Very gorgeous. And there's the Made in Japan sticker. <laughs> um, and then I already showed you the picture of the inside of it. Maybe you can see it a little better here. <laughs> but uh, it has the really old Ibanez sort of uh, logo <laughs> on there. And there is no logo on the headstock, um, which they did not have in 71, but by 74, they were putting logos on the headstock. So it's definitely younger, or definitely older than 1974. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
some other fun stuff. Um, I'm not sure if the wood on this neck is stained or if it just is that kind of really bright red color, uh, but it's so gorgeous. I don't know enough about wood to be able to tell you, unfortunately, but it's such a gorgeous color. I just adore it. <laughs> um, and as you can see, the back and the sides are also just that beautiful, beautiful red color. And she has been through a lot with me. Um, she's played at campfires and preschools and <laughs> definitely um, has some marks on her. But uh, honestly, through all of that, the tuning is amazing. Um, it was hanging on my wall for probably three months since I've last gotten it down and it was still perfectly in tune. <laughs> um, the action is great. Like I said, I've never even taken off that truss rod cover to see if there is one under there. Um, but the action is so low. It really was an amazing first guitar to learn on. I got very lucky. <laughs> I know a lot of people start out on just the worst old guitars, but this one is amazing. And I'll play some chords for you because gosh, her voice is just amazing still after all this time. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, ancient guitar. <laughs> Probably my favorite instrument that I own and uh, I would not ever give her up for anything. <laughs> Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, if you want to click the subscribe button right up there, then you can subscribe to my channel and see all my new videos. And if you would like to check out my Patreon, the link is down there in the description. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day.